Yeah, folks, it is. It's all connected. I am Grimner, and I am here today on the It's All Connected show on RealLibertyMedia.com with my lovely co-host, Miss Circle. On a winter Monday. On a winter Monday uh, with Miss yeah. Circle. And uh, mm. it's, what is today? Monday, January 25th, 2021. Yes. And today's program is entitled, uh, The More Things Change, dot, dot, dot. You know, the same. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh boy. Uh, so tell so, me, tell tell me, uh, Miss Circle O. Mm-hmm. And why why did you want to do the the more things change deal? Uh, mainly because it seems like we had a lot of change, right? A or did of, we? Or did we? That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. We had like the first of all, we had the big change that everybody was waiting for, right? Uh, uh, yeah. the, uh, now it's 2021. Right. 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 2021. So that means the uh, planned. We're well, almost like a month in. So the the pandemic is over, right? Right. <laughs> no, Grimner. They haven't sold enough vaccines yet. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, have patience. Okay, good, good. Uh, well, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or is that not is that not the change you meant? You meant the change of the face. I don't know. Well, there is that change too, right? See, because we had we we had the change in in the in, in president of the free world, America. The free world. Yes, we're so free here. That you're all on lockdown and and mandated to wear masks and uh, yeah. It's a good thing I'm, I'm you know I don't know if it's a good thing but it's a thing that I'm not living in the free world so it's, it's the thing bad. it's the thing it's the thing yeah so uh, but yeah. you re- you remember the old song by the Who won't get fooled again okay. This is where you kind of lose me. You How know? would I remember an old song with the Who? I, I don't I know. I was born in 77. You're just a child. <laughs> How, do back, How do I look back at the Who? Well, they played like in the 60s, right? Well, you know the music though, right? Um, you, you don't know the Who? Won't get fooled again? Meet the, meet, meet the new boss, same as the old boss? Uh, yeah, well, the titles, because you played them. Well, of course, but, you know. But to me, it could just as well be like um, the animals or whatever. So well, yeah, well you know, the, the Who was kind of like punk before punk existed. Okay, well, then I'm lost. Then uh, <laughs> the short answer, though, and we already spent a lot of time on the long answer, but the short answer, no, I don't really remember the Who. Okay, all right. You don't, you don't know who Roger. But, uh, apparently, they did a song, though, right? Yeah, they did a lot of songs, but yeah, you, you don't know who Roger Daltrey is, Pete Townsend. Oh yeah, that guy says me something. Okay, I know there is a band named The Who, and if you played something, I would probably go, "Oh, oh. that's The Who." Oh, right, oh. I heard that before. But if you just say The Who to me. I'm thinking like uh, black and white TV, uh, old rock music, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you you remember Pete smashing his guitars on the stage? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't remember him doing it. I remember seeing it. Well, <laughs> of course. <laughs> you saw it though. Would you remember when it happened? Or... Anyway, the key line to that song and from <laughs> "Won't Get Fooled Again." Is meet the new boss, same as the old boss. See, yeah, it's the same. The same. It's the same. Well, I said, I'm asking you. You're living there. I don't know. 
I'm yeah. not part of the free world. Well, I'm, I'm uh, living I mean, yeah, a yeah. miserable monarchy. Okay. You can look back through all of the various presidents uh, going back to the time I was born, which is 1960, uh, so JFK through now, um, and whatever they go up there and say, this is what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do, all you got to do, really, uh, are you familiar with Agenda 21? Yeah. Okay. So I'm in UN country. Heavy UN governed here. That's terrific. Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 all right. Anyway, anyway, so if you look at the all of the things stated in Agenda 21 of what was mm-hmm. going to happen going forward, what they wanted to happen going oh, forward. Oh, you're going to join us in UN country. Yeah. Any, anyway. So okay. all of the things they uh, stated in Agenda 21 that they wanted to happen mm. kept on happening regardless of which idiot they put in the Oval Office. Yeah. And, and I, I, mean, it does, I mean, just look at these people. They're, they're freaking morons. I mean, George W. Bush, man, that guy. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing, though. None of who you can vote for is actually controlling everything. You can't vote for the organizations that are behind most of it. You cannot. You cannot. They don't care who. Well, actually, they they do. They want they want the person that's going to reflect what their agenda is. Them the, today, the world is so highly commercialized and so completely centralized, right? That whatever politicians and parliaments and governments, they're mainly smoke screens. They are. They serve like you know that that's just theater. They, yeah, they go there and they and they they speak all their words and they get people saying, "All right, go this guy or go that guy," and then and then when they when they get into the office, nothing changes. It's all the same. Because it's the same structure that they're out. They're, that's not within their reach, though. It it is not. They, Any they, politician, they can discuss the distribution of of of. Uh, of whatever wealth they can loot and steal, though. But they don't settle the monetary policies, right? They do not. No. So they're just distribution. Well, they're, they're just salespeople, you know. They're trying yeah. to sell you on the agenda items that the globalists, the, the banking cartel, want want to push forward. And so they, yeah. get, they get the person in there that most reflects uh, what what it is, what the words that the, those guys are speaking, uh, so the, so what it is they're going to do, I would say that they want to do, but it's that they that they're going to do, uh, regardless. How, how, do, how do you how how do generals get appointed for one of the world's largest armies, the American one? I don't. You know, know that? No, I, I am not familiar with the military operations. That would be interesting to know, wouldn't it? Yeah, Would you yeah. say generals is a power position in America with the large military? Certainly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, generals are, sure. I'm pretty sure you don't vote for generals. No, no, no. No. <laughs> no. No. Generals, generals gather in their masses just like witches at black masses. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Going back. I don't know. Ah, that's that's old that's old music stuff too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, black that little black Sabbath, a little Ozzy there for you. Um. <laughs> I know. Oh. I'll ask Rob Workstead. He might know how how generals get to become generals. I, I guess they work their way up through the ranks, you know, uh, by by kissing the right asses. So it's the lobster before them, right? Ahead of them that pulls them up. Did you know, Grimney, that there is a certain kind of lobster that uh, it has a very strong inst- instinct, so when it sees the ass of another lobster, it, it just starts following? I am not familiar with lobster asses. <laughs> <laughs> so they have these long chains of lobsters that just follow the ass in front of them no matter what happens. Okay, so it's like a, the, the human centipede, the lobster version. <laughs> yeah, because they're you know safer in numbers, right? Once yeah. in a while, the the lobster in the front, right, 
spots the lobster that's in the back. And well, then they perform, they, you know. Oh, well, you would do that. I mean, if somebody was was following you around and creeping up on you, I, you'd notice, right? Yeah, but what happens when the front and the back meet? Then they just walk around in a circle until all those lobsters die. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. <laughs> I, I don't really know where you're going with all that, but um. <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's funny though. When you have these systems yeah. where you just follow the ass that's ahead of you, right? To become right. a general. Oh, sure, yeah. Well, I mean, you know. Uh, you end up in these circular systems uh, where they just go nowhere. The the military is very, very regimented in, in how they do things, you know. Yeah. So yeah. They, they, they expect certain things from their people, and if those people that, that provide the things they're looking for, I, I guess they uh, go up the chain, and, and the others that don't, don't. Yeah. It seems just as silly as the lobsters. Because it's going nowhere, right? You're just promoting the same, you know, just, you know, just like you just been through an election with one old white psycho versus another old white psycho. Okay, right? well, here, here's, the, here's the change that I personally uh, made when, since uh, Biden is now the president, um, he, mm. he he's a pedophile, right? I don't know. Probably. Okay. So it's now not the president. It's the pedodent. <laughs> the pedodent. <laughs> he's, yeah. the, he's the pedodent. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> or, or Moose Girl likes to say pedos, pedodent. Uh, but I, I say pedo. I say, say pedo. I, I don't I don't know what's the right terminology. Um, but <laughs> no, just say no to pedophiles, right? Just say no. It's fucking disgusting. Okay. Wood, wood chipper go burr. <laughs> yeah. Still, you can still out them on Twitter, man. They're gathering. They're on YouTube. They're on Twitter. They're everywhere. And they got these nasty little hashtags that they follow each other around. Yeah. Those pedophiles are everywhere. They seem to be, yeah. Grooming fuckers. And, yeah. and, and apparently being a pedophile is kind of a requirement in order to raise up through the ranks of government. Uh, yeah. And and the globalists love the pedophiles uh, because mm -hmm. most of them are pedophiles. <laughs> yeah. So. There are a lot of them, man. Yeah. They, and they're running... you, can even, you can even hashtag them on Twitter. If you hashtag them under MAPS for one. Under what? M-A-P-S for Minor Attractive Persons. Right? Really? I, 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 I did not yeah. know that. There are tons of these, like, uh, hashtags everywhere. They're on the mainstream. The pedophiles are everywhere on the mainstream. Yeah, well, I mean, you could tell, like, if you, if you watch, well, like, things like Netflix, you know, and they do all this pedophile promotion stuff in their uh, movies and crap, their, their, their own movies, you know. Yeah, uh, they're the weirdest channels on YouTube, man. Just kids, weird kids uh, videos and weird hashtags and weird cryptic uh, comments after comments. Really? They use mainstream for all that bullshit. See, I, I don't, I don't really, I don't follow them, so I, I don't know. But um, I, I do know that as a person that posts videos on YouTube, um, mm -hmm. what they have this whole set of questions about whether or not your um, Video either has children in it, or it's made for mm -hmm. children, um, and you have to answer yeah. these questions uh, in order to get through posting your video. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I guess. You ever seen some of the toddler channels on YouTube? No. Where they just have you know endless hours of toddler targeted cartoons. No, I have not. And not... creepy shit, man. They're some of the biggest channels on YouTube. Well, like I guess. Hundreds of millions of views of just toddler TV, endless hours of toddler TV. Okay. I, I didn't know about, no, I don't know anybody. I, I've, I've, I've not seen it. Moose has not seen no. it. Um, no. So, I, I don't know. It's weird. I, it's a, it's yeah, a, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, I, I, you know. I don't know. I'm not here to, you know, 
uh, suggest any criminal activity or uh, vendetta vindicted, but it would not be difficult for people to hunt down and expose a lot of these pedophiles all over the internet. A lot of people are. Well, yes, yeah, so there's a problem, though. There's a problem in, in exposing them because they'll shut you down and kick you out if you try to expose them. Yeah, they uh, will. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you remember the whole Pizzagate issue? Yeah, but not even that. They got like live chat and so just benign looking, really kid friendly chat rooms that are just swarmed with pedophiles and groomers. Wow. Not even underground. It's it's open. It's just open. All right. I, I guess I avoid that. I, I mean, I I don't I necessarily mean, avoid them. I just don't. I'm not. It's not in my scope of, of view. Uh, I, I would I, say. If you do like a, a fake profile on TikTok pretending to be a 12-year-old girl and and just be a little uh, alluring, you would find predators. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you would. Oh, yeah. I've, yeah. I've never been on TikTok, yeah. but... Um, no. Do you, but nasty do, folks. Do you use TikTok? No, I don't. Okay. I have seen TikTok. I, I, I've seen links to it. <laughs> but no, yeah. I, don't, I don't go there. So, uh, so you think that Joe Biden is a bigger predator and groomer than uh, Donald Trump was? Absolutely, hmm? absolutely, and 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 he's very open about it. Pretty much, I, I mean, you see him all, you know, all these various videos and photos of him, you know. Yeah, he's really he, weird. Yeah, he, he gropes kids. He sniffs everybody. He, he, he's he's a he's a he's a freaking weirdo. Yeah. And yeah, Trump never did the, the children, children thing. He no. just did the uh, f I'm 15 kind of thing, right? I, I don't he know. He just did the really young girls, though. Oh, well, I, apparently he wanted to screw his own daughter. Probably still does. What <laughs> 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 yeah, fucking weirdo. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's one thing that changed. So the world got, what, a little more pedophile? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it got <laughs> if it got more pedophile or if it just became <laughs> more open about it. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, I, I, yeah. so um, I, yeah, that's, that's. I don't know. Isn't that what every you know old history history says in the Bible and all that? That you know, when empires explode or implode before they fall, they turn really fucking decadent. Yeah, I think that's, you know, that history kind of shows that to be the case. And, and maybe you just entered that decadence phase. Well, I I think it's been it's been building for a long time, I'd say. Um I I I mean, uh, United States has been very decadent for decades. Decades of decadence. So is Europe. I mean, are you insane? I mean, uh, well, see, I'm not, I I I don't really know much about Europe. No, but the decadence among the rulers are insane right now. But you, I, you're probably right, you know. You are a little bit more excessive, and everything is bigger in America, right? Apparently. I mean, I, yeah. I've I've seen pictures of the, you know, uh, your, your buildings and your cars and your roads, and, it, and they're all kind of downsized from what the U.S. does. Yeah. Every, everything's a little more packed in together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so, so what changed? So we got more. We got a pedophile president. Yes. Uh, you know, taking away or distracting away the focus from um, the true owners, though, right? The true owner. Yeah. Well, that's that's always kind of been the case. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. even you know, if you want to go back to like the beginning of the Federal Reserve. And the reason they named it the Federal Reserve is to fool all the people into thinking it was a a bank of the United States um, when it was not a bank of the United States. But people still believe to this day that the Federal Reserve is is the United States Central Bank um, yeah. when it's you know they're totally disconnected from the United States government. Well, here's it too. It's called National Bank, the National Bank. National Bank of Denmark. But it's a self-owned institution, right? Right, right. Who just happened to press the Queen's uh, currency, right? 
Exactly. And so and so <laughs> they, they 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 do the currency and they loan it to the queen at at interest and and the queen does whatever she does with it all. I, I don't know. Um, yeah. Sends it out to the peasants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, one of the um, with all this uh, COVID, right? There's we're seeing a lot of protests in Denmark too, right? And uh, I hear more and more people saying we shouldn't take it to the parliament. We should take it to the to the queen, right? I do they. And that's what I'm. They, I'm starting to hear that in the uh, comments here and there. Not like in mainstream, but you know, more and more people are starting to say, you know, the parliament is just the parliament. Okay, and the queen has final say. So of course, that's the queen. The queen. But oh. if you, if you ask people, they will say, "Oh, the queen has no real power. She's just, you know." Head of state. <laughs> right, right, yeah, figurehead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but does it really matter what what a prefix you put in front of monarchy? I don't know. Is are there prefixes for monarchy? I don't know. I live in a so-called democratic monarchy. What? Okay. <laughs> that doesn't yeah. really aren't those conflicting? I I I, I guess. I mean, it, it all depends on the monarch, I would suppose. I mean, if the monarch accepts the word of the people, the will of the people, then then that would be a democratic monarchy, right? Well, that's what they supposedly say that happened here. Okay. But if you read the Constitution, that's not really what it says. Though. Denmark has a Constitution? Yes. Okay. It's been rewritten. We have the fifth edition right now. Fifth edition. <laughs> it was rewritten last time in 1953, yeah. Okay. Well, they Well, they, they did that because uh we were it, it, the constitution said that it was the first born son that would inherit the throne and always be a king, right? But right. the people of Denmark didn't like the first born son. They liked his big sister better. Okay. So they did a big election in 1953, which changed the constitution to say um, the first born heiress, right? All right. Or heir. So that made, so we have Queen Margaret now, because nobody liked her brother. And, and how old is Queen Margaret? Right. Uh, Seventy-something. Okay. So she doesn't have too much longer. And does she have children? Yes, she has a son. So you already know Crown, who... She has two sons, but uh, we don't care about the other one. Uh, it's all about Crown Prince, Prince Frederick, right? Okay, so he'll so, be the next monarch. Yeah. Yeah, but um, astrologers have always perceive, uh, um, foreseen in his future that he would not become king, that he would, um, <laughs> what do you call it, abdicate, that he would say no thank you to the throne. Uh, so we don't know. Astrologers, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You didn't, have, you, didn't, you didn't have anybody like with a crystal ball or anything. Uh, well, then he's got a brother, though, right? But, yeah. but nobody really likes the brother. Okay. Well, then he's got kids. He's got like three or four kids, too. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so that's I think a, so if for, you ask most Danes why they have a queen, they will say because they don't want a president. Okay, well that's good enough reason, I guess. I mean, <laughs> as long as she's fairly benign, you know, stays out of the way, lets people do the same. Then well, every time she speaks, she sort of pisses people off. Last time she said that the whole climate change things wasn't it wasn't you know proven that it was human made and people should relax a little. <laughs> little and how does that right? piss people off? That pissed off a lot of people. How how does that? I mean, people want to believe that that climate change is human driven. Well, they really a lot of people do here, you know that, and that Denmark for one is going to be help uh, save the world from the horrible uh, pollution. So they thought it was very counter uh, the green movement that the queen would say such a thing. And they called her a climate change denier. <laughs> I'm a denier. Yeah, I know. You probably like his speech. <laughs> the world's not on fire. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, music reference.
references, boy. Um. <laughs> so did everything, If now you say that things changed, though, did everything then stay the same? Yeah, everything's the same as here, here as far as I see. Um, you know, I you got a new idiot in there making his, you know, saying his new words and making his new changes, but it, it all follows along with the, the whole agenda, the Agenda 21 or the Agenda 2030 uh, at this point because we're so far in, cl getting so close to 2030 um, compared to when Agenda 21 was written. So, yeah, the the agenda can, continues regardless of which moron is there uh, saying, these are the things that I believe in and these are the things that I'm going to do. Uh, and, and, you know, it appears that things have changed because uh, instead of this guy that said he was supposedly Mr. Conservative and all that, mm -hmm. now you got this guy that says he's Mr. Liberal. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make, but th those make no difference. Um, no, you can always find the points where they agree. Absolutely. Just, just yeah. uh, you know, just, you know, take the wars or the economy mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, and and they all pretty much come down to the same thing. Uh, they're they're different, you know, differing words. And there's a the utmost loyalty to Israel. One. Oh, of course, yes. That that the that. complete annihilation of Palestine. Right. Yeah. 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 What pisses me off, though? Well, it should. <laughs> yeah. I don't get pissed off very very easily. But that pisses me off. Well, yeah, it, it it is frustrating, and but but I think it's because a lot of the uh, the globalists, a lot of the banksters, are are headquartered there. You know. Why didn't they fucking take Switzerland then? Um, Switzerland's got its own <laughs> globalists. <laughs> Who would care, right? <laughs> no, they they have their own globalists in Switzerland. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they so, do. And they're part yeah. of the, they're they're part of the. Uh, the group that you and I will never be part of. Oh, yeah. I find, you know, people always say, oh, look at Switzerland. They're so free and they have this good economy and they're, <laughs> you know, like this bastion of, you know, solid economy and free trade. And, and I'm going, you think they did that on cheese and chocolate and clocks? Probably not. Uh, no, no, it doesn't seem too no. likely. Um uh, they're not. like the they're like the traitors of some of the most destructive things on this planet, man. Yeah. Oh, they're derivatives bullshit. Oh yeah, well, der if it, <laughs> there's, there's there's so much uh, of the uh, the amount of money that's in derivatives at this point far exceeds the actual amount of money uh, that there actually exists in the world. And most of those goddamn hedge bankers, they own most of the uh, physical assets, too. Sure. That's the insane part of it, man. That's the insane part of it. Well, that's... That drives me nuts sometimes, is that there are that few people that own all the rice. Yeah. You know, billions of people are relying on that rice to survive. Sure. And it's owned by very few people. Right. Well, pretty much everything's owned by very few people. I mean, that pisses me off. Uh, yeah, you know, they they talk about uh, the, like the different media channels over here in the U.S. You know, mm -hmm. like Fox News is this crazy conservative group. CNN is this middle of the road apparently, and MSNBC is the liberal <laughs> group. But they're but they're all owned by the same people. Yeah, CNN is like the middle of wow. Uh, I don't I don't know I I just. <laughs> Whatever, but they're all owned by the same people, uh, which which is again back to the yep. globalists. And if you look at like AP uh, news or Reuters, uh, they 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 they're the ones. All the news that you see out there, um, yeah, from from all these various sources, comes from the same people. And and because and one big thing happened in within the last fifty sixty years, Grimnir. Everything got a lot more centralized. Oh sure, and I, I don't know if it's, if, if it's only fifty or sixty years. I I, I think. Well, oh, it went really fast. Yeah, I, I don't know. From where I'm sitting, you know, maybe little Denmark was just you know, 
behind on the game, but the last 50, 60 years, of, everything really became really centralized in, in Northern Europe. Yeah, well, they're, they're trying to make it globally centralized, so that, yeah, that, 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 that's the goal, is to make it globally centralized. Um, probably uh, with this, this great reset thing uh, to, uh, to eliminate actual cash, because cash is a problem to them because they can't track everything you're doing. And they want yes. to track everything you're doing. Mm. Uh, so if they go to some kind of a digital system, which in theory uh, works very well. I mean, if you look at the uh, the whole Bitcoin or cryptocurrency world, you can mm. see how well it works. But they want to use it because that way they can track and control uh, things that they cannot do with cash, you know, paper or, or coin. Um but they own it all. They own that. They own the. They also own all the digital highways now. Well, I don't know, but I mean, Google owns all those data centers that everybody got to go through. Well, Google and Amazon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but but I mean, not all of them. I, I mean, a lot a lot of the uh, most of the idea behind uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency world is that it was not centralized. It's totally decentralized. Exactly. It was decentralized, yeah. Right. Because, you know, that's the only sane thing to do is to decentralize all the time. Why wouldn't you? Uh, people like, like their crap Push centralized. Push everything down into little modular autonomous cells everywhere. Thank you. Right? Well, you you would hope. Yeah. I mean that that would be an ideal thing, ideal way to go is to totally decentralize. That would be ideal everything. moment. But but that's you and I and people here at RLM. Well, we we understand that the decentralization is is the way to uh, gain more freedom. Uh, but that that is opposed to what the the globalist controllers want. They they want to not allow you more freedom. They want you. Uh, to be controlled, but they want you to do it yeah. without realizing it. Or they they want mm -hmm. to do it to you. They want to make you believe that that is freedom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when yeah. they when they centralize everything. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but what? And but they what, used to be for the efficiency, right? That used to be the big argument, at least over here, for centralizing. We we went from very local government to. Centralizing those and centralizing those and centralizing those, right? Within three, four steps. Yeah. And every time it was to make things more efficient, and save every, money. And every time they try to make things more efficient, what happens? They have to hire more people for administrative shit instead of hiring people for doing the actual work. So that would be less efficient. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's yeah. insane. I mean, I, you know, most people in the public service now in Denmark are uh, lawyers and administrators and uh, uh, legal people, right? right? And fine and economics, modelers, people who sit and do little tiny models and management. Okay. Yeah. We have a union for anti... <laughs> they have a union, the, uh, the lawyers, economists, and... Uh, Management, blah, blah, right? right? They have their own labor union. And you, now you have a, a movement whoa, 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 in Denmark whoa, whoa, whoa. that is anti that union. <laughs> Lawyers are in a labor union? Yeah. The Danish Lawyer and Economic uh, Union. Okay, I don't, I don't think they, they have unions for lawyers here. Uh, the lawyers here are all controlled by the Bar Association. Um, which would be... No, here they're all in the lawyer. They're all in the union with the economists. Okay. But we use that, you know, that, that, the, the abbreviation of that union, we use that as a term of the whole uh, bureaucracy and the growing administration. And now that every time they make a new rule, you got to hire two people to administer. Yeah. See, so every that... time they make more laws, you got to hire more people to do the paperwork and push everything around. The, the the thing that gets me about the whole legal profession and the lawyers and all that is is the way they distort the language, uh, and that that that's to me is the, is the primary problem, 
is because mm -hmm. whatever when you say a word like person, you think a person is a person, like a human being. A, mm -hmm. uh, even the word human being is, is messed up. But for them, a person is not a human being. It's a legal entity. Um, well, that's <laughs> particularly bad in the uh, in North America, though. Oh yeah, it's horrible here. Yeah, I mean, Danish all, law all... is, is is kind of different that way because it's the intention of the law behind the word that's the important part. Yeah, well, here it's like you know, like if you get pulled over by a cop for whatever. Um, and then they give you a citation for whatever. Uh, then they'll, they'll they'll say, "Do you understand?" And to you, does that mean that means like, "Do I comprehend what you're saying?" Yeah, I comprehend what you're saying. So I'm going to go ahead and say I understand. But that's not what it means. Understand means do you stand under the rules that they have just described to you or not described to you, depending on. What the yeah, what, is. will you consent to this? Yeah, thing? yeah, do you consent? Do you understand does not mean do you yeah. comprehend, which is what it should be. Uh, so, mm -hmm. you know, that, that's that freaking legal mumbo-jumbo bullshit where they destroy the language in order to, you know, get you to agree to doing things according to their rules. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I, I hate lawyers for that reason. Um, well, I know that. I studied law, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh... I didn't finish it, because, you know, I suddenly grew a heart. <laughs> <laughs> and a soul. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, those were probably oh, already there. I was going to use it for activism, though. That was my, uh... I was going to be an activist lawyer. Okay. And you were going to help people do what? I was going to help change the world, though. Oh, okay. Change the law. That was my big goal. And and was would your change be real change or would it be more of the same? That's I just told you I grew with sets, didn't I? You I know, but you said you were going to change the world, but yeah, I was I I was an idealistic activist. I was going to change the world. The, the more things change, right? The more they stay the same. Right? Yeah, you know, the so same. my change wouldn't have been any different, which is the whole fucking reason, though. Right. Let's stop saving and fixing the world, right? The more people do, the more fucked up it gets. That's the, that's, that's the problem, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> anyway. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't grow know. plants. I grow plants, yeah. <laughs> grow apple trees. Grow, you grow. can't fuck up completely by growing apple trees, right? No, no. I, you know, it, it, growing plants is a good thing. Um, I, I, that's uh, it's, it, it. It helps the atmosphere, helps the world, helps uh, you uh, because you're back in touch with with the nature that you're uh, trying trying to expand. To get more people and back. You can make apple juice. Yeah, yeah well, you, just because you grow apple trees doesn't mean you're going to get any apples. <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. <laughs> so, I have a teeny tiny peach and a teeny tiny apricot tree. That's I, I don't think it's ever going to grow any fruit. Well, it take a few yeah. years to start, you know. Yeah. They, they're not going to grow apples or peaches or whatever on the first I've year. I've never seen a peach or an apple tree actually give fruit in Denmark. Really? No. Maybe in a uh, greenhouse, but no. Well, I mean, apple trees like it cold, so... No, apples, but not peaches and apricots. Oh, yeah. Tons of apple trees here. we got apple trees everywhere growing in the wild. I, I imagine that you... I imagine you probably have a, a rough time growing citrus over there. Yeah, that doesn't... It. You know, in people... Yeah, no, in uh, greenhouses, maybe... Yeah. Can you grow like lemons or lime or oranges where you are? Um, I I don't know. I I don't. I've never seen any uh, around here. Um, huh, maybe I should try. Awesome. I, I don't know. Grow some grapefruits. Uh, let's see how that goes. You like but, grapefruits? Oh, I love grapefruit. Yeah. Oh. You know those they're are really, yeah, yeah, they're really good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, especially in winter. Well, all, all the fruits are pretty much all, all good for you. 
I can't, yeah. I can't think of a fruit that's not good for you. Can no. you? No. No? Okay. <laughs> uh, there are some berries, though, right? You have to be a little careful with Oh, there are poisonous berries, sure. Like elderberry. You can eat elderberry, but you have to cook them. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, well, you, you learned that you, as a kid. And, you, can yeah. make, you can make wine out of elderberry. Yeah, you, my dad made an awesome elderberry soup. Soup? And elderberry um, lemonade. Yeah, like a really thick, heavy, warm soup, and then you eat it with these big, crunchy uh, biscuits that you break into the warm, warm elderberry soup. I don't think I've ever had a berry soup. <laughs> no. Or a fruit, any kind of fruit soup. I've done that. That's a... You come in from the ice cold now playing in the snow, and you get this really thick, warm soup of elderberry, which is a little metallic, though, right? It's a little irony. Tastes a little bit like blood because it's got that iron taste. Yeah. Okay. And then a little bit of whipped cream, and and they're not sweet biscuits. Whipped they're like cream neutral. on a soup. You put whipped cream on your yeah. soup. Yeah. You people are weird over there. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's healthy because it's, it's you know, full of iron and tons of vitamins those elderberries right yeah oh yeah elderberries are great for you sure huh? yeah i usually just pick the flowers and make elderberry flower uh lemonade and, and, it, and it's funny that it tastes like iron since elderberry is an antioxidant <laughs> but it has like an irony flavor. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. I think the only elderberry I ever had was in supplements. Okay. Yeah. Well, they're everywhere around here. I'm in the woods. Oh, okay. Well, I live in the desert, so we don't have a lot of no. things growing out there that are typically known for being edible. <laughs> no. I did make, you know, this summer I made elderberry flower lemonade from uh, from the elderberry flowers around here. Okay. Terrific. Mm -hmm. And that won't change, right? No. 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 no well, well, they tore down a bunch of those elderberry bushes, but there's always. Then somebody else grows somebody else somewhere else. And then Ooh. you just have to look for them. And why did they tear down the elderberry bushes? Um, they did that and with the elderberry and the um, sea buckwheat bushes, too, that I was really fond of. Uh, because they were putting in new power lines and sewage lines. and So they had to dig up the whole uh, beach area. So My favorite will... apple tree got torn down. So they destroy things in the name of progress. Yes, they That, that kind of goes back to last week's deal. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I know that now it's, now it's looking really barren, and then you know maybe not next year, but next summer again, it's going to be the same again, right? I guess because nature uh, is going to grow back. Yeah, 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 it should, right? Yeah, but all the uh, buckwheat, we had a nice, uh, um, really big patch of sea buckthorn that's a really good little berry. Sour as fuck, but it's full of vitamin C. Okay. Nasty to pick. They got these long thorns and the berries are all mushy. Right. So you get hundred little stings from picking them. That's why you that's send. Uh, uh, that, that's why you send Flash out to pick them. No, I would never do that. <laughs> I do that. I picked them for flesh, so yeah, it's all that vitamin C in the winter. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I noticed some chat about the vaccine here in the chat room. Oh, vaccine. Now, have you or will you accept their poisonous experimental vaccine? Probably not, no. Now, what if your work says you have to be vaccinated to come here? I don't think they will. I know, but what if they do? Um, I would probably say they're not working at home. Okay. All right. But I don't think that they will. 
Well, all right, I well, already uh, asked uh, my union how they feel about it, though. Yeah, and they said they can't. They uh, they foresee no force. Okay, good. All right, now yes. you're you're a professional, and you um, you you have a union. See, most, most of the, the it's a really small the, one. The union, it's a really, really small and benign one. Though. Most of the most of the unions here um, are for you know blue collar type workers. There's uh, most of the professionals do not have unions. Well, that's very different here. I think ninety something percent of all Danish people are in some form of union. Okay, and. Do the unions actually help you in some way? Yeah, they're the ones who um, negotiate the contract I'm hired under. I okay. This year I got an extra paid vacation day, annual paid vacation day, which was contracted three years ago when they were negotiating the new contracts. So I've been given an extra vacation day added on Every year for three years, right? And you already so get like a thousand. Because, because yeah. of my union, I have an extra eight paid vacation days a year. Now, now, do you think that if you were not in a union, that you could not have negotiated that that contract for yourself? I don't have to be in the union for the contract to be negotiated. They're not exclusive like that. So you could be a non-union member. Hired under the same contract. Yeah, lots of people are. Okay. I just happen to like the union people. So right. I want I support them and I want to be a member of them. And if there's ever a conflict, they're they're you know, they're gonna be right there next to me. Mm -hmm. Helping me out in the meetings with the company. if we ever have a fallout, me and my employee, then the union will be there in the meetings helping me sort it out. And I like the people. When I wrote to, I wrote to the head of my, you know, the, the, I don't know what you call those, the guy who's in, you know, the head of the union and the vice, you know, the general secretary and the vice secretary. Those are the people I wrote directly to ask about the vaccines. And both of them replied to my email within 10 minutes. Okay. Well, that's great. Yeah, I, I've only ever worked for two unions, um, and they were both at the same company, General Dynamics, and um, they were both horrible. Uh, the first one I worked for, for was the Engineers and Architects group, um, and they, they were such a small union that they had no power. They, they, they couldn't really negotiate anything um, that the company didn't say was okay, that you know, the corporation didn't say was okay. And then um, after an event happened, which was the uh, shuttle Challenger exploding, um, I was going to be laid off. And the union offered no, I mean, since I was low on the union totem pole, I, I was mm. just going to be laid off. But the, uh, the company said, well, we could transfer you down here to this, this other division, um, and you'll be part of the uh, international machinists or whatever, IAM, I forget what the A stands mm. for. Uh, International Association of Machinists, hmm. and and not only will this union cost you more than your old union, they still won't do anything for you, uh, but but the unions, you know, they steal money out of your uh, out of every paycheck, right? And hmm. and it's just like having another level of government between you and the company, which is well, it might be if those the big ones. Uh, I'm not. A, we have those big unions in Denmark too, and they are mainly blue collar. That is true. Or the the lawyers and economists. Those are. That's a pretty big union too. Uh, but the union I'm in, they only operate within the company I work in. Okay. And they're really cheap, and they're none of their. It has. They have no employees. Everybody who's working for this union are doing it voluntarily. Okay, great. That's great. So they're so, pretty much uh, okay. just, and but, they but, cover all the specialists. What what, the what if all of the union members said, okay, I don't want to pay dues anymore? Then you just Would, get released from it. All right. Lots of, okay, I work. I'm a specialist, right? That's the union is called the specialist union, right? 
And there are tons of specialists who are not a member of this union or any other union. Or maybe they're a member of some other union that has nothing to do with my company. But they st are still employed under that uh, contract. Okay. So the union will work for those people too. All right. I, yeah. They just don't, you know, have a say. <laughs> All right. Well, we're, we're way off track from whatever our topic yeah, we are. is. Yeah, but, we are. Uh, it's, so that's very interesting stuff to me. I mean, the difference is... Um, you know, from from the way it is here and the way that the only way that I really know about how things work is, is you know, from, you know, uh, local experience. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Any, anyway, but uh, so as, as far as things changing under the, mm -hmm. the new moron, the new <laughs> the new the new, the new pedo. Uh, yeah, you went. We had the orange man. Now we have the creepy man, right? Right, right. And before right. him, you had uh, what, what did Biden call him? He's he's clean. <laughs> he's clean. He's clean. And he speaks well. That's what when when Biden was talking about Obama back in the day. Uh, but Obama is the brown man. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but when Biden described him. He's a clean Negro. Or something. A clean Negro. Wow. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay. I think he might be a pedophile, but he's also a racist. Oh, he's pedophile. definitely a racist. He's a huge yeah. racist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He definitely got more racist. Oh, and, and he's classist. Yeah, he's, he's, very, he's, he's, he's also very classist. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kate points out that Biden said he's only planning one term. Yeah. The, the thing is, how much of his term is he going to go for? Or, or is he going to be allowed to to have? Because, I mean, he's he's a he's he's dementia. He's got dementia, so um, and he just well, how long will they allow him to be in there? I mean, it's and apparently the uh, demo craps uh, seem to to love the twenty uh, fifth amendment deal. Um, but is 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 Trump going to do a third party? Who knows? Who cares? Uh, yeah. That's what all the media in Denmark is about. Okay, well, hooray, the Trump party. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, right. Trump, Trump's freaking old too, man. So He's gonna call it the Patriots Party, right? Is he? That's what I read. All right, great. What's a patriot? Uh, somebody who loves his country. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, I, I mean, I would say somebody who okay. loves his state, though. The state it loves the state exactly. That's, um, that's what it's called, a patriot. Yeah, and the state is the government, and the government is the one that does all the nasty shit to I you. I love my country, I love my people, but I don't love the state, and I'm not a patriot. Yeah, I, 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 I don't. I'm a national romance, though. I don't, I don't like the word patriot. No. And just look at the people that claim to be patriots, and it's like I don't want to know those people. Those, those those people are fucked up, and 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 you know it's like on one hand they're 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 bitching about everything government, and on the other hand they're supporting everything government. As so like, you don't worship an eagle. Worship a what? An eagle. No. Isn't that what the patriots over there worship? I guess eagles, flags, cops, military, uh, barbecues. Uh, you like barbecue? I like barbecues. That's fine. I'll, but I, I, don't, I don't need to be a patriot to enjoy a barbecue. <laughs> Even if that said barbecue happens to fall on Memorial Day or July Fourth or Veterans Flesh Day, Flash has the coolest handkerchief though. Flash has a bandana that's um, the the American flag almost, and then in the corner in white it says uh, "Made in China." <laughs> it's the most beautiful bandana ever. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> and does he does he wear that as his mask? I think so, yes. That's a good one, except over there, I don't know if it, it has the effect it would have here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you know, uh, like um We don't uh, go out much, let's just say that. Like like my on my Twitter deal? I've got, you know, yeah. whatever, yeah. 1,300 followers, something like that. Ooh. But let's say I went there today and I posted something negative about cops or the military. Uh, 
Oh, they were or, going. Or, or against their party, whichever it happened to be, because I post yeah. bad things about each party. Uh, uh, then I would, then my number of followers would drop by X amount, because yeah. I have offended their sensibilities by saying the military is a bunch They're of dickheads, or the cops are all assholes, or all bastards, yeah. or whatever. Then. And I those think, uh, those people that have followed on to, to my timeline for whatever reason because they saw some tweet I said that opposed the group that they don't like, <laughs> which, yeah. which if any of the people following, some group. yeah, some group, if, if if any of the people following uh, saw all of the tweets that I tweeted, I would have zero followers because yeah. I offend everybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> just, just the nature of the beast being a uh, a Rothbardian. Yeah, are you are you a Rothbardian? A Rothbardian? An anarcho an anarcho capitalist? Oh, no, I don't think so. You you'd probably be more on the anarcho socialist kind of thing. I would. I yeah. don't think I'm. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that the one who owns the soil is the earthworms. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't think the earthworms really care too much about what's going on about. Oh, no, exactly. That's why they are the natural heirs and owners of the of the soil, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I need, are, I need... are you the owner of the ground you stand on, or or is the earth, or are the earthworms? Well, see, that's that's the thing is, um, I I purchased this property. So according to the lawyers and other folks that I hate, the state, um, yes, I am the owner. But I'm so only. So you go down and you tell the earthworm to get out of your property. get out my land. No, I, so, but 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 if you own something, that that sounds like it's a permanent deal, right? But of course, I only own it as long as I pay them to allow me to own it. <laughs> Yeah, because what you own is the right of usury, right? Uh, usage, not usury. The usury is totally oh. different. Oh, when you use others, yeah, okay. Well, you have the right of usage then. That's yes, the right want. of the right to, to stay here as long as I pay them every year for what yeah. they what they and call. And you don't break any other rules. And... Right, right, right. Yeah, you got to pay pay yeah. their, their theft. I mean taxation. Uh, do you have rules about like how long your grass can grow or how high your hedges can be? Um, not exactly, but um, the, I mean, it, 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 they they can find ways to come and get you if you allow things to become unkempt. Uh, well, well, <laughs> because you know there are uh, general aesthetics rules and things like that. Uh, which are city based. Not, it's, I don't have like a homeowners association or anything like that. Uh, where, where people do have those, then yeah, they can only have like three inch tall grass or whatever. Uh, That's the first thing I checked when we looked at this house. If there is uh, one of those homeowner associations. Yeah, yeah, those, those guys are horrible. And wow. th when there wasn't, I went okay, good. Then we can look at it again. Yeah. I don't. I don't ever want to live anywhere where there's one of those. No, me neither. No. I mean, no. what? What do you want? Another level of government in between you, which is kind of goes back to the whole union deal. But anyway. <laughs> like the whole street of Karens. Yeah. You no. probably even have like mandated barbecues. Yeah. And work weekends. Yeah. Oh, hey, no, 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 no. People here just want to be left alone. That's why. That's why. <laughs> that's why they live out here in Moriarty. They just want to be yeah. left alone. And, uh, you know, if it takes, a, you know, you got to do a few things, you know, like keeping your yard uh, up kept to, to a to a level, then, you yeah, know, that's all right. That's all right. I don't mind doing that. I don't I don't want to walk out there and see four foot tall weeds anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. The neighbor next door hasn't done anything for 10 years or so. Uh, so it's like a birch. He's got a birch uh, forest. <laughs> Terrific. But I, say, I, I like birch. Birch is good. Uh, yeah, if they grow fast. All right. Well, we're, we're, out, we're out of time. So. Oh, yeah. We went derailed, but hey. Uh, yeah, we, we always do. <laughs> yeah. I blame you. Okay. I, I, I accept that blame. 
<laughs> yeah. All I right. think everybody knows who is the scattered minded though, don't they? Oh well, well, everybody has some level of scattered mindedness, so Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna say that oh. yours is at a higher degree of scattered mindedness than mine, but <laughs> I am <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in here today to It's All Connected. and we'll, Thank you for listening. We'll be back next Monday, same bat time, same bat channel. Uh, anyway, <laughs> have a great rest of your day and a good week. And uh, that's it. Peace.